orientation is locked. R r rotate device back. Is that supposed to be live? Oh, technical issues. But entertain the folks in case it is live. I could sing, I could dance. <laughs> yep, there I am. Oh yeah, it's just We're the live. wrong way round. Yeah. So we've been turning it? You're going to have to turn it. I'm going to turn it. Is that okay? Everybody watching, this is awesome. And now we have that there. How is that? Okay. Is that okay for everyone? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Can anyone like tell us if that's... Uh, we're not very technically <laughs> efficient. I don't know if you can tell. I, I think you can't tell personally. Um, and this could fall at any point now. Yeah, so is it going to do, is it, I guess it's, is that it? It's good for me. It's good for me. If it's good for you, it's good for me. Yeah? Yeah? There you go. It, you're back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We are. We're good. Right. If this falls off and the disaster strikes and we, we go, well, I'm afraid we'll be back ever again. Through, through full embarrassment, I would guess. Do you want to strap it up? I can strap it up. Try and strap it up. You, you entertain the folks. No, we'll just put that on there. I understand. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> we 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 will get on with it in a minute once we've secured you to the tripod. Get ready, folks. We this will... is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. And we are streaming. Yeah. We will come back. We are here. Austin dropped it. We knew it was going to happen. Always. And how is this? Now there you go. We just like to give you a bit of a live action during... Um... We're acting like this isn't totally normal. This is totally normal. Okay, let's just go on with it. We normally do lives on Instagram. There it's a little bit easier to... I didn't, yeah, I didn't know it was like... I didn't know it was this kind of... I think it's because we're using a modular device. And I think okay. if you use a, another device, it doesn't do that. Amazing. Right. Great. Good to know. We learn something new every day. So we, should we just get into it and let's, let's not do. bore the people? Okay. So we recently we done we've done quite a few towns recently because if you follow us on Instagram you'll know that um it's drier than the Sahara Desert out there. So we pick up a few pieces from each town. It means we're travelling way more than we have been travelling. Yeah, this week specifically. So what we've done is accumulated all our little bits and we're gonna show you our little bits here. And we normally do it on Instagram, but we thought let's share. Share. Should we share? Sure. Okay, here you go. So first up, we got these today actually. Um, we went to Sherbourne today. And Sherbourne is normally really good for anyone who knows Somerset. It's a very I'm affluent nearly dropped that. <laughs> um, town. These are all birds. We will be saving this live, by the way, because we don't really think people will be watching. No, I agree. You know, so you can watch it back later and we'll try and be as as like non-chaotic as humanly possible. Maybe not. Shoes, right, okay, these are um, all birds. But anyone who doesn't know, this is a trainer make. I believe it's American. Yeah, um, I think they are. I think, I they think are. It's, it's, it's marketed mainly in America and they're normally sort of like, they're normally a fabric, aren't they? Yeah, most of them are. They do, they do make kind of like, um, I don't know if it's leather or faux leather, like as in like, you know what I mean? Kind yes. of vegan-esque. Um, but the, the, the two pairs we found, one of being, was one has been kind of cotton and one's been wool. These are more kind of cotton. I guess you like you can see you can see there. Yeah, like a fly knit, right? Um, but to be honest, these are, we found a pair when we went to Margate and that was on one of our lives, I think on uh, one of our YouTube videos as well. And those were kind of, they were, they were wool. They needed a little, little, little debarble, but they weren't as nice condition as this. And they sold for what? 45. And these were, yeah, these were six. Six. And they'll go for probably a little bit more, actually. Because um, once again, like, once they were stuck, wool. The I just said they were wool. These oh, were cotton. Sorry, yeah. I was thinking about that. That's fair enough. Um, anyway, but they're a really good trainer. There is like a debacle with them. Debacle. Debacle? Um, because debacle. <laughs> um, they banned resellers reselling all birds. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and oh, I think it was. Was that in this country or that more no, in the States? I think it was the American market. Okey anyway, dokey. Um, I sold a pair this week, so it's okay. Um, these are a seven and a half. Did you say that already? No, I, 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 I don't know if size is relevant, but there you go. Okay, fine. Right, close next or, or yes, yeah, so should we do close next? Yeah, let's do close. Next up, I will pass it to you in a minute. No problem. Next up is this label. Um, this, 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 this is a jacket. This is Uniqlo. Uniqlo? Uniqlo. 
Yeah, Uniqlo collab with Jill Sander. And for anyone who doesn't know, Jill Sander is an extremely high-end brand of um, clothing. Um, and the logo for it is just a J with a plus. Well, yeah, it's a very basic logo actually. However, for some reason, just to clarify, that's the Uniqlo and Jill Sander logo. That's not the Jill Sander logo. Yes. So, go, like, go and check that in one of our other videos, I guess. This is like a little. Uh, it's not a pea coat, but it's sort of similar, I guess, right? Yep. It's quite cropped too. Um, it is, yeah, it's very pea coat y but it has kind of like a. I don't know if you can see on the yeah there. It has kind of a, a an even hem, so the front is a lot is a lot kind of higher. It sits a lot higher. Um, most of the Uniqlo um, items actually are supposed to be universal. Um, and I say universe, I mean unisex. Um, so this, I, I'm not sure. I actually think I've tried this on. It fits me. Um, I say fits, term it's loosely. It's small. But I'm saying it's very oversized. So I feel like maybe it's a female piece, more 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 to, uh, based towards a female as regards the height. It's just wool. But it's it's an oversized piece. It's wool, but it's got like it's nice. It's like semi. It's like what I call half line. There's probably a term for it, but half line. What do you mean half line? You know when they. Oh, it's like the shoulder piece. Mm -hmm. A shoulder in the ice. But it's saying. got a really weird cult following. Um, there's a celebrity, and I don't know if it is it Gary V or is someone like that who swears by the t-shirts. Loads of people do. Like yeah. I have friends who like only wear Uniqlo shirts, and that's not like a brag because they're not only really expensive, expensive, but they're really nice quality. And they sell out really quickly. Yeah. Anyway, from what I saw, because we have some t-shirts, newer tags that are sort of half sitting at the moment which were the which were the same which is the same kind of um this the same tag yeah yeah it's the same tag but the coats comps are they sell more regularly and they're really high they're plus 100 yep anyway um so 100 pound for a unico cloak coat Coat. Say that when you're drunk. Cloak or coat? Um I don't think it's too bad is it? No not at all. And once again like what would you expect for this? I just said 100 plus. Bargain let's do it. Next it's nice, it feels nice. It feels like cashmere, but it's not it cashmere. Does, it feels like cashmere blend, maybe. Yeah. Should we rotate? Should we Let's do, do some shoes? shoes and then... I do that because we have shoes here, apparently. So these are what look like a very kind of basic driving shoe. They are from Todd's. Um, I don't know if you can catch that there. And there. I thought like yeah. we we'll get it. Um, these are like the, 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 the Todd's driving shoes are like kind of iconic. These ones have kind of see, um, suede uh, kind of stripes right, right both sides. They're just like kind of a regular, um, what would you call it? Leather. No, 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 like, yeah, what kind of leather? Like a, a printed leather, like mm -hmm. a natural kind of grain leather. Um, once again, the only thing I would say about these, they may be a smaller, smaller size. What size are they? Like half, uh, six and a half? They're a six and a half, but they are men's. Six. So I, like, I, I don't, I just personally don't think a lady would wear those. No, it's not a lady shoe. No, yeah. it's not. It's, it's not, not. No, it's not. It, I mean, they do, they actually do, um, they do lots of um, uh, driving shoes for ladies, Todd's. Yeah, they do, they do. The, but these aren't, these aren't those. Um, there's, there is some wear to the very, like, foot pad. Which is really weird because they they kind of I don't know how to explain it. They they all these shoes like most driving shoes they have rubber studs which kind of if you look kind of sideways, how to rub that kind of suede off? I, I can only imagine it's just damp and wet has got to that. Do you know what I mean? Because it hasn't hit the floor. Oh, pleasant. Yeah. Um, well, no, maybe it's just water. how they were stored. Yeah, maybe so. They need a shoe tree. They need a shoe tree. They need kind of reshaping slightly. I mentioned on Instagram Live as well the other day that um, if you ever need to kind of like get some of the more kind of um, prominent creases up shoes. If you um, use a towel or a, a damp cloth over the top and then kind of use a steamer, don't use an iron, it's a bit kind of, I don't know, I think Embrace it's a bit it. too strong, but yeah, a steamer will sometimes will bring some of the lighter ones out. Otherwise, just use a shoehorn and leave them in there for a few days, um, and that works as well. I would say with Todd's, when you're picking up Todd's, um, this is the shoe. The, yeah. the driving shoe is the shoe. Um, I can't remember the name, it starts with a G. Um, uh, gam, 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 G A M M I L. Bethany's fluent in uh, uh, Irish, I was going to say Italian, I should say. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but these are the shoes that you want to um, you want to pick up from this brand. I mean, they, they do boots and stuff and everything, things sell. Um, but I find this is like the cult product from this brand that people look for, right? Todd's dri and driving shoes are like hand in hand, yeah, I agree. It's like Rolex to watch. Yes. You know? Right, next up, uh, let's do clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Right, this brand we found in Bath. Bath. And it was pricey, but everything in Bath's pricey. What is it in, in Bath is pricey? So actually, I thought this brand, I walked past it, I didn't recognise it, I'm not going to lie to you. But I thought this brand looked a bit um, like artisan, as in like someone made it by themselves in their like... 
Yeah, yeah, very Do you know much. what I mean? I it looks like a like a card independent kind of like brand. Yeah, like a card make or something. You yeah, know, yeah. like a interior. Like a local maker. Anyway, it's called Lost and Found by um Re Rhea Dunn. No, hold on. Rhea Dunn. And on the back it says rooms. How cute is that? Anyway, but yeah, show you show you them. So they're kind of like a, um, I think you'd call it like a very relaxed. Look at the size of the leg. Look, I was going to show this face. They're, they're very, like a very relaxed kind of drawstring cotton trouser. I'm trying to get out so you can see it. But this. Look at the leg. Like ah. that, that there is the, 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 sorry, that edge there and that edge there, are the seam. So the actual kind of triangle shape, that's kind of like. How sick is that? That's the bottom yeah, that's of cool. the leg, right? Yeah. So it, it literally just goes over your toe. Yeah. And probably on the floor, if I'm honest. Anyway, so I looked at the brand really quickly while I was in store because um, they, I sort of basically I saw the shape of them and thought they looked very Rick Owens. They are. Um, so I looked quickly looked up the brand in the store and the comps on Vestia were between three hundred and nine hundred for jackets. Yeah. So I thought trousers are gonna do all right, especially if they're unusual like this. Yeah. There's gonna be like a there there should be like a cult following or yeah. Um, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna list I'm gonna list these for a hundred and fifty, and I'm gonna be a bit flexible. I'm gonna take offers over a hundred. Cool. Because um, they are more like a lounge pant, like, but from the same perspective, they're pretty extraordinary. Yeah, it's weird because like a lot of people think, um, it sounds really funny, but in, in, in clothing in general, a lot of people think like relaxed, it's like, like any kind of level of clothing, relaxed stuff is usually cheaper, kind of your loungewear is cheaper, but in actual fact, these cost as much as maybe what I'd consider some high-end brands full-line clothes. Well, yeah, the times And they're, they're literally just a cotton... People are wearing... Like relaxation wear, like, pants. Yeah, like mm -hmm. hardcore, aren't they? Yeah. Right, next up, I showed these on my Instagram, our Instagram, sorry, that we shared together. That we shared together. It has a United front. Uh, these are Prado, and you can see them a little bit better. So they're like Mary Janes. Um, they've got a, what I would call a wavy sole. It's wavy. They're like a wall upper. Literally are a wall upper, and they're grey. Now, they were listed as a size 4. However, when I went to them yesterday they are a size three. Thirty-six. Yeah, which is three. um three. Which is I don't know, I just small shoes sell slower is a fact. Yeah I agree. Is it at an average size woman's foot I think is a five to six. So they're a bit smaller but I think they look quite generous in size. Do you not think? Uh if they uh, yeah I mean I said they, I'm saying they're a three um but I actually yeah they are but to be fair, Prada usually does that as well, though, don't don't they? So when you see this red line on any Prada products, it's sort of their, what I would call their tech lines, their utility, like, practical line. Most of the skiing and stuff's under this line. Any, like, sort of, like, weatherproof things. Um, and it's called uh, Linear Rosso, which translates directly to red line. So if you see that, like, that's the, one of the main differences between some of the lines. Yeah. Physically, some of the different lines the Prada make. Um, this was really popular, kind of Y2K, um, late 90s. And they've just brought this back. I say they brought that back. They've always had it. But yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of had a resurgence. So it's um, very wearable, isn't it? It's not their very much so. It's not their, you know, like, main line or whatever. And since all their kind of black nylon and the kind of triangle logo came back, they pushed this again. So um, I think that... Um, I just want to show up like this. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think that... Um, they were good. They were at the moment. They were a good thing to sell because it's in kind of the limelight as regards they sell quite actual branding. They relaunched some of the trainers recently, like the really Y two K looking trainers. Um, these are these also have. I always say it wrong. You say it. Vibram. Vibram. Yeah. Soles. And I know people will like get off on that. Like that's like a thing, isn't it? It's the thing for any shoe. So they actually they they actually sell the sole. They're exclusively made for Prada, so they're a specific Vibram sole. Whereas Vibram soles get put on boots or shoes or whatever, and Vibram make X amount of styles. These are made specifically for Prada, so it's like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? When I say that. I've listed these for 150. There is a slight like wear there. I mean, I'm this is we're being pernickety now, uh, but 150, and they're quite unusual. So I mean, the trainers are hitting 200. For, yeah, like, of course. The, they're sort of what I call European style trainers. They're very so. kind of very sleek looking, very kind of like yeah, very much like a, I would compare to a race car. They're very like, do you know what I mean? They're Aerodynamic. Very, there you go, that's what I was looking for. Is that what you were actually looking for? I... No, not at all. No, it was, yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Okay. At the moment, I, I can't see the chat. Oh, the, is there a chat? I can see people in the chat. So hello to everyone who is putting that there. This is, like I said, our first one. So to be honest, no I can't see. No one said anything, babe. Oh, did they not? People have said things. I can see things. That was a long time ago. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, so the, the next up, uh, bread and butter, if you will, mm -hmm. my dear Jeeves. Bread and butter. These are sea salt. 
See it? Sea salt. I feel like we're buying too much sea salt right now. No, I love sea salt. Size 18. I shouldn't love sea salt, but I love sea salt. I Tell me why you bought these. I feel like sea salt's the new toast. Oh, uh, no. No. A little bit. It's got that vibes. Right, so I bought these mainly because they're corduroy, because I love corduroy. However, the rule is, someone started a rule on Instagram that we should only pick up sea salt if it's over a size 14. Um, I don't always follow that rule. I follow it mostly. But if it's like something really like utility wear, I'll, I'll buy it because it will sell. That's um, a reseller thing. You know that. Like every reseller ever who, who, who does a live or, or does anything ever. So I don't usually pick this up. But, but um, anyway, we we had a, um, I was about to say blonde, but we had a beige pair of these last week. Um, I put them up. They were a size 16, I think. No, no they were a size 10. 10? They, yeah. they were like very oversized. Uh, these are a size 18. They're called the Ash... They're called the as uh, uh, as as Oh, I'm not going to try that. As poodle. Yep. A S P H O D E L. Seen it more and more. Doesn't anyway, help. and I paid seven fifty for the Did last I... last pair, and I was like a fool by myself. But they sold in literally one minute. They're like um, a really wide leg, but like they're like a constant wide leg as opposed to kind of um, I don't you call it. Yeah, see, size eighteen and cord winning right, the, and the navy universal color of of joy um i like navy wide leg in like utility keywords utility wide leg nautical does anyone else like workwear like, <laughs> as everyone knows sure. the majority of the titles and listing does anyone else talk in like um, titles uh, keywords yeah, like keywords and titles like we'll be in a shopping show oh, it's uh, like for example if i would hold these oh do you think of these what would you say Utility chore workwear. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, the navy you, you, as well. You, the you, size. Yeah. Like it, it, it gets kind of a bit. It gets I think a bit they're merch. really nice, actually. They're lovely. Um, and I'm gonna put them up again for thirty five, and hopefully they sell. The, what I will say is, as much as I'm not, I'm not 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 a sea salt fan, but I'm not like Mr. Sea Salt. I would say last time, did they or did they not sell like uber quick? I just said one minute, literally one yeah. minute, and I'm not even exaggerating. I, think... I put them up, and they sold on Vinted. I think a lot of people like uh, um. There's some things I for for sure have on um. You know, you can Watch. save uh, search, yeah, like, but like so, saved searches on eBay. Mm -hmm. So I think um, some of the brands, especially some of the brands which are like a little bit rare and not necessarily that being rare, but I'm saying a size, a fabric, a style, um, a yes. brand itself. I, I think people, I think people have those on kind of alert. This isn't sunglasses. This is just a box. We harp on a lot on Instagram about empty boxes. These are. Let's do them both at the same time. And these. So this one is Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. um who is a designer obviously it comes with the original cloth as well which is actually sealed which is really cool yep and it's just the case it's literally just the case they're really we, nice cases we just listed this one for 25 comps of between 25 and 30 so i just went in the middle with that one um because people buy like secondhand sunglasses and they want to complete obviously yeah. their sunglasses or they buy sunglasses as a gift and they want to uh, put them in a case yeah of or, course i don't know and, and sometimes just if you if you if you bought a few pairs whether you bought them used or maybe you've lost your case or whatever like you just said i think it's handy to have like i have i have a pair of tom fords like this i don't have i don't have them here but i, I have this case and to be honest with you half of me was like should i keep it in case because i i sit on cases like i you know it is what just it is. in case but ju just in case it's good to have you know this one was cool though this is um, a Versace, which Beth, I guess Bethany already said. The only thing, thing about this, I don't know if you can catch in the light, but these are like kind of um, stones. Um, it smells good. Leather. Oh, no, no, it smells like smell perfume. Yeah, it does actually. That's yeah. weird. Stop sniffing things. <laughs> um, they're Versace, but then they're for a certain sunglass. So it's not um, an everyday Versace case. It's for the Cat Eye 74343. It's not that one, but no, I, not at all. it's the Cat but Eye. But they're very Cat eye -y. And they've got this on the on side the side. Of the glasses. So sometimes some of the manufacturers um, make them specific. So like, for example, you showed a pair of Gucci's a couple of weeks ago. They come in, not a hard case, but yeah, they have like a soft, soft case. case. So sometimes like... Um, uh, it's just handy to have the exact case which goes with your, your glasses or, or your bag or whatever else but also if you're ever going to resell them or you've had enough and you want to sell them yeah. that's a that's a big thing to keep hold of if nothing yes. else but for us as resellers pick them up if you see them so you I put this know. one up a bit higher this one's up for 35 um, just because of the fact that there isn't enough one up and it's very unusual to have that sort of like I mean we, we, we've, we picked up maybe like in the last few months we picked up maybe two or three just Versace alone yeah. One like that. The quality is the quality is so much nicer. Um, not the other ones were bad, but they were just basic glasses case, like the one we just showed you from Tom Ford. 
but that one specifically is very nice with the with the kind of the metal kind of um, studs and so on. So yeah. Right. Why are all the flies undone? Like all of them? Uh, like some kind of like does someone a pervert around? I don't no, know. I don't even say that often. I just did. Uh, another bath one, same shop as the jogging. I say jogging bottoms. The lounge wear palazzo pants. <laughs> um, these are Cezanne. Anyone knows I have a weird thing about Cezanne. What picking bad man found those, Bethany? You, you found them. Aren't you such a wondrous to the world? I am, yeah. Um, and I haven't ever sold any of their jeans, if I'm honest with you. Alarm bells. Um, I'm not going to lie. I never sold the jeans. But everything else from yeah. them sells very quick, very fast, very well. These are a size... Who knows? Who knows? They haven't got a size on, which means, you know, we'll get the old measuring tape out. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, is that under there? No. no. Anyway, they're, they're a small, they're like a 10. They're like an 8, 10. No, yeah, they're like a 10. They're, a, they're a, just a straight leg. Um, I find actually, weirdly enough, that like skinny trousers, obviously, and like any anything like that aren't really in at the moment. So I, I put straight leg and make a point of putting straight leg because I think people are swaying against skinny. Because yeah, even if they're slim fit or skinny, I, I don't think people are, like would like, even if they like them on, I don't think they'd search that word. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's like on trend. And I think if you use keywords in the title that are on trend and you can relate them back to your item. I think so, that, go, on, go on, sorry. So like the uh, sea salt, yeah, like using oversized. the word utility, uh, chore, even though it's not a chore jacket. There's nothing to do with those things. What you're saying is... in it, that genre. Yeah, and if someone's searching that, they're kind of coming up with that. Actually, I noticed someone recently, they were talking about chore jackets in general. And what they, what they were talking about wasn't a chore jacket. Um... But once again, like if it has buttons and it, and it looks it looks remember like a shirt, you can yeah. get away with it. Let's just look at you because oh, this one this morning we found this it, overjoyed. This has a little bit of piling, as you can see, but it's nothing. A debobbler won't sort out. What you don't want is a hole. Um, and this doesn't have a hole. And we thoroughly checked it. It's like a geometric print. Um, and a hole. Shape, I guess. A uh, pattern. Sorry, I'm just gonna look at the. Is a hundred percent cashmere, which I still can't get over. Uh, well, I think you're missing the point. I'm amazing. Found this also, and it is, I, I didn't realize though. I didn't realize until now actually anyway. that the, these two are like yeah, it's stupid, like, they're, they're, these are different colors. Yeah, I knew there was a block. Obviously, the dark gray. I think but... it's very like aspen, aprol oh. ski. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Very anyway, nice. It's free. It's free sixty cashmere. And I know it sounds funny, but I know that like sometimes if I see a brand that is what the like material content, mm -hmm. sometimes it relates to something being cheap, like the brand being cheap because it what just says you... sometimes oh, you get okay. jumpers that just say cashmere. Yeah, like, like there's no brand. There's like I think there's a brand like which is like cashmere or something as well, which is like I'm not I'm not I'm not throwing <laughs> I'm not throwing shade, but. Uh, free free <laughs> free sixty cashmere. It's an extra small, but it's extra big. Do you know what? I was actually going to say, the other, thing, the other thing I was really happy about when I picked this up is anyone who, like, ever picked or has picked up cashmere or um, even, like, good, nice walls, yeah. the first thing you do is, like, it'll, see, it'll say a large, right, and it's this big? Yeah, yeah. And see, you're like, okay, so it's shrunk. The stretch and this, I was like, hang on a minute, extra small, and, yeah, like, just, up against me? It just needs um, a D-bobble. Yeah, but it these does. retail for about £200, um, and on the retail market, it's really good. If you get, like, a long cardigan, you know, like a... A long cut. Like a long line, you mean? Uh, then they you can get about 300 quid for them. The other thing I was going to say, for a lot of people, you, you say that like everyone knows that. Like for most people watching, I guess they will. I don't know if you can see kind of like the amount of pile there. They, like these are, as long as you're careful, like a debobbler, and if you've, if you've never tried it and you kind of think, oh, I'd rather not buy it. Honestly, like this as it is, if we sold this, we'd have it as a return for sure. Oh, like, yeah. You you know yeah so like for the sake of, I think, our debobbler, I mean, we've gone through two or three by now. But our debobbler was like fifteen pound. I think it wasn't. It's not crazy expensive. It's just time consuming, but it's one hundred percent worth it. Okay, shoes, more shoes. Shoes. Ferragamo. I know a lot of people like hate on Fer Ferragamo. I do a little bit. Ferragamo is an Italian brand. Um, <sighs> yeah, they're like. <laughs> it is a lot like that, no? They're classic. Okay, they're classic. They do do some like updated designs, but less like. Like these are like I'm sorry if I offend you and if you think these are the coolest thing ever, but these aren't like the freshest kicks you've seen in the last like however long, right? The fact you just said I kicks said fresh made kicks. me really feel sick in my like like down in my soul. I'm here for that. I'm here for that. 
but <laughs> that's like the thumbnail surely but uh, on the flip side e honestly we like um in the shop how many pairs of ferragamos have we sold to like i would say i would say maybe ladies like later on in life been really nice the mature demographic mature 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 yes um but they're nice and they're really well made um there is a shoe that is not this one that has a similar like uh bow which is called a, a va va vera vera and then they -E -R -A, do a, yeah. and they do a va verina which is a fat Ooh. one which is a ballerina uh, okay verina i got that so i would keyword it only because <laughs> it has the same um bow situ but this one is very much enlarged and it's got like the logo impressed into it um they're gray they're suede well, they're not suede are they they're like metallic silver like new buck new buck i mean they're not, they're I'm, gonna not... Go, I'm gonna go on record and no one should ever like state their own stock but these are vile okay <gasps> no yeah 100 no, 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 i said no, it no, no. they are but they were 100 percent sell they're a classic no. shoe and a classic silhouette with they're a classic, classic brand and this just to let you know anyone who hasn't maybe picked these up before this buckle here, they did a few variations with this kind of bow. If you ever pick up the more like, I'm just going to say it out loud, of the old lady shoes, pick these up. Because the, the actual buckle is where the money is and people kind of identify them from that. Um, kicks, is, kicks is not a vintage term, it's a... It's a hipster term. It's a, it's a cool did, kick. Did I say it was vintage? They're like, you know, when they say like crepes for footwear. They call yeah. footwear crepes. Or like if you're wearing something, it's like, it's like a drip. Drip. Oh, I can't even. Let's just stop it there. <laughs> um, this this was in the ladies section. This was all you. This was in the no, ladies this is section, cool. but it's kids. Well, show, show the folks what you're talking about. I lady. would normally pick up kids, but this is <laughs> kids clothing. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't pick up kids. Which one are our own at least? This is uh, John Galliano. 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 Who was the head designer for Dior? Controversially left because. Um, He's mad. He's mad. Um, and he has his own namesake brand. And now his adult line goes for a lot of yeah. money. And funny enough, in this shop, I found adults a piece of Galliamo about a month ago. Yeah, you And did. now we found kids. What did you find? The jacket. No, oh, yeah, okay. okay yeah, it's yeah. a complete different design. I was just going to say, I, like, I, I was like, jog my memory. I was like, the jacket, okay, the jacket. What? Oh, yeah. But this is kids, but it doesn't matter that it's kids because it still will have really good resale they, value. They were also very popular at the same kind of time, era wise. I know they both have a resurgence recently, but they were both like very what, early 90s, early. And it says, late 90s, it early says 2000s. lovely. That's cute for, for, for a child. For I a wouldn't wear kicks either. Who is saying? Who is saying? They wear footwear. <laughs> I don't wear kicks. Trainers. It implies you're going to kick someone with your shoes, right? No. Kicks. Kicks. Um, well, you kick your feet up. Like why, we're, why we're, are... we're, well, I'm at least way too old for this conversation. Anyway, I'm going to list this for, for £40. Pounds. For kicks. Hashtag kick collector. That's good, that's good. I mean, I wouldn't even say it's a size 8. Maybe a size 6 if you want to wear it as an adult. What does it say on the back? Let me read that. It says teenage. The teeny and the teenage angst issue. Oh, so, so just to let you know as well, which I didn't realise on this it had. So if you can see up close, like he's very, uh, John Galliano is very um, well known for printing newspaper, what look like newspaper articles. I don't know if they'll catch it on screen. Um, and they look like newspaper articles. That's what he's famous for. Yes. And I didn't realise this year had it, which is yes. really cool. And if you can find a piece which is crisp enough to read, it will read, like, it'll just be total madness about yeah. some Himself, kind of... probably. Exactly that. Which makes sense because he was insane. Next up, Still this is. is a good example of... Um, her using your eyes. This has no label. It just well, on the rail. You could just see that. Um, if we switch to the back, it is a little three M embroidered. <laughs> uh, this is a B and this is an S. Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty. Show me this. Is that? I, I, do you know what? I've never ever noticed that in my entire life. And then, life. if it hasn't got a tag or it hasn't doesn't look like oh, yeah, it's okay. got a tag, their tech stuff has all the information you need. In the hem. the hem. They're not the only issue I have with that. I just watched a doc, The Kingdom Science, so it's a John Galliano. Is there you go? See. There you go. There you go. Um, the only thing I would say about that, which is, which is once again, it says sweaty Betty, so it's cool. There are a lot of like um, own brands. Like M and S and Next have started doing these in, in inside. The so like side. up until recently, you could kind of just look for that, and it was like a good one. Because Lululemon don't do it a lot, but they, no. on some of the black on black, they no, have they it. No, they do it on the tech. Like they're like stuff that's meant to be like fitted. 
That was really fitted then. Anyway, this is just a little vest. Um, these, I, I try to like um, get these out for like 25 to 30, depending on condition and sort of like colour. I sell, oddly I sell patterns for slightly less because I find the Sweaty Betty customer and Lululemon is sort of more... Um, like a serious kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like a more like a... Mm, simple customer, yeah. um, no, like, well, not as in like they're mentally like, like but they're efficient. Wear, they're wearing this to like uh, <laughs> yeah. school run and stuff. It's, and a, it's like a base. It's not. It's not a kind it's of a, a show off piece. It's, it's kind of something you're gonna wear every day. Yeah. So I try to do twenty five to thirty, and they normally always go on. Vinted. I feel uh, you know. I feel like a lot of people buy these and spend like a lot. I've seen a lot of people buying sweaty Betty lately and spending like too much. Um, they're not. I don't know. Do you, do you not agree? Yeah, I don't spend a lot on spare space anymore. Well, um, we saw like, what, five, six pieces and all of them we nixed because they were too much in our, since, in our opinion. Since least. the company has gone more, like, not so much public, but since they've gone, got bigger and like, yeah. as a company, they've upped their manufacture. So there's a lot of product coming out and a lot of products like going to TK Maxx, going to um, like outlet centres, going yeah. to their outlets in Vista Village and things like that. And actually where, where we live... There is in Bath. Well, we don't live in Bath, but we need, we don't we don't live far from Bath. In Bath, they have a store as well now. So a lot of the kind of surrounding areas have kind of it's, it kind of filters through. Yeah. Whereas before, if you're just buying it online, you'd have to be a specific customer to buy online and then have shipped. You know. Certain pieces obviously go really well. All the backpacks and the hats and things like accessories that you don't see every day still go really well. Um, but more but basic things like leggings and uh, tank tops. Um, I sell the knits sell better, the jackets sell better. Do you know what like I mean? We, the like more we, complicated. People. Yeah, I would say so. We had um, uh, like a black tech coat, uh, and I say tech. It was like you know, like a nylon, but like, yeah. like where the seams were all kind of totally waterproofed inside, and it was a nice, nice enough jacket. But this retail for maybe like a hundred and twenty ish. We sold it for like 80, something like that, 90. was very, very close to that price. And I think it's because, once again, you see a lot of vests, you see a lot of leggings, you see their kind of what I call the things they're known for. When you talk about something like that, which is maybe, maybe a little bit more, um, I don't know, you don't see them every day. I think that's something which you can charge, you can happily charge more for. Yes. This is the black label. Anyway, a lot of people asked about this on Instagram, so I did try and do a post, but, um, you know, it's, it's just a black label. Now... I don't know. It's it's difficult because obviously we've been doing this too long. But this is it's just a black label. However, <laughs> it, it correlates with the piece. So the piece is like a cropped I'm gonna shut them off. knit with extra long arms. The arms are always really long and they're normally worn like humble bumbled. The hems are normally rolled or like it'll this. be like a lago look piece that'll be really oversized. Um, normally, even the neck is like it's kind of yeah, like, like it's weird. It's, it's just draped. Yeah. Um, normally a more premium, so like cotton, linen. Uh, you know, if whatever. you can imagine like a high end, what I'd call like a high end All Saints, like that very slouchy kind of like it's higher end. We are that. I know what I'm saying is like the actual look is very much that. It's kind of very kind of um, grunge. Yeah, grungy kind of gothy L almost. Lager look grunge. Yeah. Anyway, so it's just about label, and then sometimes inside we had a boil of wall piece that did say black label on the inner label, but. <laughs> This one doesn't, um, but it's all in, um, I don't know, it's just care label. Anyway, so it's literally just a black label. Black label. So, uh, so like, this is Rundolph, Runholf. Runholt? Runholt? Runholtz. Yeah, with a Z? Yeah, with a Z. With a Z. and they do black label. They do Google mainline. it because we're not being much help at this point. It's on my Instagram on the on the first picture, um, and they do lots of different basically ranges and things. Um, but it sells so well. I can't tell you. Once again, I, I go back to that kind of. I know it's boring, but I go back to that kind of. Um, I think people have uh, uh, search eBay, saves. Search or... saves, yeah. Because once again, it, like you'll get messages as soon as you put it up. I always think when that happens, like we we. Not that we know everything, far from it, but we're aware of pricing for this kind of product. So it's not like, you know, sometimes you put something up and you think, oh, it must have been really cheap because everyone's messaging me about it. No. It's not that. It's just it's a popular product. So maybe there are a lot of people more interested. That's all. So I will list that for, a, I will list it for about 140. And just just so you know, close up, it literally is. I can't, I can't like, it's not like any hidden, any hidden kind of. It's a black label. It's literally a black piece of fabric. Yes. Next. Stuart Wiseman. Now I'm not gonna. I don't want to get started on the Stuart. <laughs> I don't want to get started on the Stuart Wiseman train, but Stuart Wiseman is incredibly underpriced, underrated, and it does matter. 
So let me give you a couple of reasons. One, they did a huge collab ages and ages ago and have done more recent pieces too with Russell and Bromley, which aren't the same thing. Two, recently uh, they've had loads of celebs, including one of the main, I think one of their main campaigns recently, last year or maybe even this year, was Kim Kardashian. Only about a month ago. Yeah, but they've she done previous as well. Very good. Um, so these are and not that that's the height of fashion or anything, but to be quite frank, if she if she's photoed in it, it sells. Mm-hmm. However, you look at it, you don't have to like, you don't have to be They're involved with that. They're very famous for the but knee high boots. The boots, even more so. But anything from Stuart Wiseman across the board, full full line, it has some value. I now, think the problem is people price, um, not not us, but people price like normal people price um, in accordance to what Stuart Wiseman, Russell and Bromley is doing yeah. um, and also really sort of like unfashionable silhouettes from like early 2000s. So exactly that. So what's happened is someone originally, even if it was like 10 shoes ago, based on this, right? And I said this on my podcast, uh, on our podcast recently, when um, someone prices something, so they've gone on a comp, maybe they don't want anything about Stuart Wiseman, they've gone on, they've seen a Russell and Bromley and they price their shoes the same as that, maybe 25, 30, 40 pounds for a pair of box shoes. It's the only comp they could find at the time, maybe. Maybe the only thing which looks similar to their shoe. That's what they've comped on. Now, bear in mind, three people after that have checked that pair of Stuart Wiseman shoes, which isn't a Russell and Bromley, but they've taken their price from the Russell and Bromley. Now we've got three pairs of shoes down the line, which are about 25, 30 pounds for what is a retail three, 400 pound shoe. It's madness. And people don't understand that because maybe there was a, there's a comp on eBay. Once again, we've said it a thousand times. Like, go and do your research. Go and check prices. Go and check. It's not a case of, oh, I want to sell fast. But if it's a crap shoe, it doesn't matter. You can put it for £10. No one's buying it anyway. So if it's a good shoe, go and check the prices. It's just it's just worthwhile. I know I bored people when I say these things, but I don't know why people don't. Like, I'm trying to help people make more money. I don't understand why people wouldn't want to make more money. These are black and suede. They are. And they got pointed... The scientists that told me they get all their stock from London. So there are Save the Children's, which is um, which is connected to um, Mary Living and Giving, um, and yeah, most of the donations come from London. That's the actual brand you're looking for, the full brand. And once again, the quality will be totally, totally, totally different and so much better than anything they've done in collaboration. Um, I will be listing these. I think I listed them for two hundred. There you go. Um, unboxed. Um, minimal wear to be honest that's that's a couple of uses because the paint comes off straight away or the just to clarify as well they have they have uh they start shoot shoot wiseman and bista correct no they don't have it any... mm. yeah they do Either way, me, within the it. last year or so, I, I one of my friends because we used to we used to we were working in Bristol at one point as well. We had um we had different um different uh, different uh, positions in different jobs for different places. Also in Bristol Village, which is a massive, massive, massive high end outlet store. If anyone doesn't know, uh, outlet village, I should say. Um, and they have they have everything you can imagine, like any store, like Givenchy, like Gucci, like everything. And they have a Stuart Wiseman store. And um, that was one of the most expensive shoes you could buy was in that store. So once again, just think about these things when people are people are kind of maybe telling you or swaying you price-wise. Do your research because it is worth it. It, it is worth it, the extra few pounds and the extra time, you know, you make more money. This is a pinafore. From who? Toast. I love toast. I still love toast. Um, I don't pick up everything from toast anymore because if it's untoasty toast, then I don't pick it up. But this is very toasty toast. So it's a pinafore utility. No. Dress. It's wool. What? Cotton. Cotton or the wool. Cotton. Come on, let's have a look. But it's got a button up back and like a cross strap. It has, feels like it has some more content, if it, but it also feels really oh, like. Does it not have a label? That really annoys me when it happens. Let me go and let me look in that way. This is yeah, no? No, no, stop. Sorry about this, folks. No, it does not in a label. Okay. We live near a toast outlet, so a lot of the donations come from the toast outlet. Um, it's a pinafore though. Pinafores sell really quickly. Once again, people have searches on pinafores. Um, it's just one of those things. This is a size ten. However, it is uh, very nice, and it is toast, and it is a pinafore. So, um. Um, people even after all these years like still don't pick up a nut toast they, 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 it's cheap enough as well if you can find it I'm just getting rid of the OnlyFans advertisements well unless it was mine I'm not bothered the world's not ready for that where are they? maybe <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay fine anyway so um, 
on, on bids they go for about 65 pounds mm -hmm. so i'm probably going to list it for uh 80 to 90 and see what happens literally not my size it's lovely though isn't it it is indeed so look out for like utility stuff on toast like denims uh chore jacket workwear pieces like, anything like that every, has... everything from toast sells but that's what has the highest value in that brand correct yes let's do another um uh sort of like staple i would call it a staple would you yeah. okay Just probably not so we are in quarter four we are in winter this is sea salt again i know it's a size 12 however it is it's a navy cable net bethany is really good hitting sea salt hard and I, I will say like usually i would be totally 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 against it in the harshest of uh, manners but everything she's picked up recently has sold like uber quick so I'm trying Don't hit the player. I try and pick up pieces that uh, it's like staples, so knits, corduroy, denim. Um, do you know what? So, like in the same respect, you just said toast is very utilitarian and very that kind of look. Same. Yeah, it is, but it's also very fisherman-y, right? Yeah. So a fisherman's smocks, I pick up sea as well salt. in Here this brand. Um, I'm saying, like, uh, what do you, uh, you call? What do you call these jumpers? A jumper, fisherman's jumper. They're literally a fisherman's jumper. Yeah, the length and they've all well. got really cute names. So I always look up the name, I always put it in the title. So this is a Coast Road Jumper. Um, I, I That's do not so cute. <laughs> I do look up comps based on the name and then I sort of like make my life decisions. Um, but this is a really nice oversized long line navy blue jumper. The current fairs are actually sunny. See, yeah, they are. I was like, are we talking about toast? Because oh, there's this toast at the moment, they've got some crochet as well. And they're like the crochet bib tops oh, have you seen them i have not oh i made us go on um toast men's I, the other day i was day. just gonna say i was just gonna say we went on men's the other day and i must say i like i don't know i think going forward uh, i like toast for, for, for men it's it, it's up there i buy all toast all i just love toast i don't buy the toast though that is uh like toasty. the floral tea dresses um because they just don't they just don't, they just don't move however i know like um some of the instagram ladies um some of the Instagram ladies, um, have, they don't do it regularly, but they did that thing where you take it to toast and you swap it for yeah, the yeah. equivalent condition. They're like circle, the toast circle. Yeah, yeah, I see. Um, so if you do find anything... The sustainability side of things. Yeah, if you find anything sticky, cheap, then you can always go to toast and swap it and pick like a more utility-based item. Maybe. And once again, let, let's, not, let's not put you off. Toast will always sell. But um, what are you going to say? So you're pointing at me like with an angry finger. £35. Pounds. Sold. Sold. I'll take I'll take offers. I, I take <laughs> offers. Anyway, last pair of shoes are these. I have the other ones down there. It's fallen. Okay, I'll just show you one then. These are unusual. Um, I actually think I actually try these on, and they actually look really, really good on. Right. The only problem is they're about four sizes too small. So if I'm honest, I think this foot came like kind of here. Yeah, but they're very comfortable. So these are I just dipped ripped my toe. Interesting. Before I'm a slab. Lovely in the fashion industry, but I'll say you need to work harder. Wait. You need to work harder on your mean, meaner look. I think you let me. I think you meaner. let me in the club. Meaner, minor, mean, minor, meaner. But you, someone said that last time. What are you mean? Like, you but mean? I look mean, yeah. Be happy. I can't. Let's like, practice. I can't, I can't smiling. be happy. I'm so sad inside. No, I'm not. Really not. Having fun with me. Um, these are Paul Smith. They're floral inside. Lovely, beautiful. Um, but they are rope. And we were talking to someone recently about um, espadrilles. Are they called espadrilles? Espadrilles. I always say it wrong, espadrilles. No, you say espadrilles just to wind me up. Espadrilles. No, I say espadrilles. I don't like espadrilles. Um, the rubber bottom. And I was, we were talking to someone, and even Chanel, Prada, um, Name someone else, Louis Vuitton. They, all their espadrilles are made in Spain. Yeah, they Amazing. are. Uh, these are a size four. They're like a satin top, like half wedge thing. I think they're really nice. I think they're really nice. I think that the, the most the most kind of distinguishing thing about these is this fabric is usually with kind of a, um, I need to say espadrilles, espadrilles. All this kind of, uh, even the wedge, is really, really well made. But this is like a kind of like, I don't know what you call it, like a satin. I just said that. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm saying, it, it's, it's nice. like when it's when it's on, it's hard to see like this. Yeah. It looks very kind of just But there's flexed. another pedestal. But they look really nice There's on. another pedestal that were floral. This whole upper was floral. Like this. And they were up for 75, so I just matched it. Um, fair enough. Yeah, I think they're nice. I, li I like the detail, and I will say, with some of the Paul Smith I stuff, nice. um, a lot of Paul Smith um, is really good quality. Some of it, I don't know, like it, it may, it's maybe not as nice. 
these specifically, the line and everything about them, even like the small details like this toe, like there, there are a lot of what I'd call like high end details, which sometimes some of the full line Paul Smith gets, but like the lesser PS by Paul Smith doesn't get. Mm -hmm. I got really excited when I found this. Like, this is Hatch. Hatch, so cute when I tell you why it's called Hatch. Um, Hatch is a maternity range. How cute! It's like hatching an egg. Um, and I had a top from them once. Don't what? judge. It was really, it was like a, a white a cotton blouse, but because it it was like massive anyway. Um, and I sold it for one hundred and twenty five. And so when I f I've never found it again since. And they sell it on their supporter. And prices are like about three hundred for a dress. Um, anyway, this is a black, black knit. It needs um, lint in. It it's a knit dress. It's in a size one, which is actually small. That's how oversized it is. It's just like everything's so big. And I looked up comps. It's ninety percent merino, ten percent cashmere. Um, I don't know cashmere content. Yeah. So um, it feels uh, very woolly. Comps one. at on dresses are sitting really comfortably at two hundred, um, which seems ridiculous. But it sells really well. It's kind of like high end maternity wear, basically. It's high yeah? end maternity wear. Yeah, so they... hatch, as in think, like Bethany said, think about like hatching. Yeah, they used to sell it on their supporter, and I think um, the brand themselves have gone more to their own e commerce website now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whereas they didn't have one when I picked it up the first time. However, it's, if you look at comps hatch on eBay, the comps are still really good. And in an American market as well, I always say, like, people complain when we put up American comps or they filter out American comps. But if you've got a GSP on, you have to, a little bit, um, yeah, like, keep yeah, that in mind if you're listing a, an American popular brand. Because if it's something that people are after, then they're going to buy it with the extra fees. 100%. They're going to have their English comps on as well. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. And also, like you say, I also, at the end of the day, if you are selling worldwide, um, based on your worldwide prices, I don't know why you wouldn't, um, it has, like, it's just really detailed. I don't know if you'll pick up on camera, but like every single edge and every single seam has kind of been like over overstitched, if you will. It's just very, very nice. They're, they're very, very nice things. This is, this is me and M. Everyone knows me and M by now. Me and them, it's normally really overpriced in charity shops now. This is a size 10. It's a green utility chore jacket shirt. Stop. I like picking up some of them. <laughs> um, it's cool, isn't it? It's nice. I think it's nice. Um, I've been underpricing me and them for a, a time now, and I'm going to admit it. It's okay. It's okay to admit it. I've been, I've been flogging t-shirts at like... 25 to 30 and I'm wondering why they're selling so quick and then someone put up a comp for like a skirt 55 and I was like oh. We had that conversation early on though because if you remember the first few pieces we put really high and we had no luck and we checked comps and it was like meh yeah. at the time and that's a classic example like I said earlier like we were basing it on comps of other people and we that's why we hit the lows first after after we put up high and um, it was okay, they eventually sold. We, we were copying everyone else because they were dropping it low. And then we, when we go gone back they, and checked, we're like, they've gone up. Well, it's it not that they've always you, been higher than we put them up for. It just shows you need to keep uh, your ear on the ground. A lot. Yeah, yeah, um, Sean just said about Paul Smith Red Ear. Paul Smith Red Ear. If anyone doesn't know, is the salvage like the salvage denim line. Yep. And they have something really cool, Sean, that you're gonna really like. And I'll put it on Instagram and I. Uh, you keep an eye out because I have something you're gonna. I, I'll dig out at some point. From the red ear, I've got something. I'll Is it a small something? It's like a this size something. I have a red ear. No, not that. Oh no, okay. Oh shush. Sure, sure. Anyway, me and them. So I'm gonna put this one up a bit higher. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go forty, and we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on Instagram, um, and I, we'll see if it still I sells. Think, let me just. Let me, I think as well, like like we said earlier, like those keywords are important, specifically like the double pocket at the moment. Like it's just, like, it sounds funny, but even like maybe two, three years ago, a double pocket sh like shirt over shirt, I know. it wasn't a thing. Like if, obviously it was a thing. That's a stupid statement to make. It wasn't, a, a, it wasn't necessarily the in, the in thing fashion wise. This is Ariat. Um, this, this is Ariat. They said, make boots. Uh, they're an equestrian brand. Um, I sold some cowboy boots uh, last month for seventy pounds. They're American, aren't they? They're American, and this is their little symbol. Look, it's, it it reminds me of we're watching Walking Dead at the moment. For anyone cares, and it just no reminds does. me of like a ha hazmat like biohazard. <laughs> yeah, it right? does. Right? Yeah. Do not enter. Do not enter. Um, but it's just an equestrian. It's part of their tech wear. But um, Ariat is really expensive. 
La Barriere, yeah, see? I love picking up the boots in like the more like uh, leather wear, um, but I, this stuff goes, this guy's stuff goes really quick, like 30, 25, 30. We, we did boots recently, actually, uh, a nice pair of like- uh, You just said that. Talk, no, yeah, but I was gonna say, what what was uh, how quick was that turnaround for considering they were quite costly? It was costly. about a month. It was about a month. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, but we put them up for eighty and we paid. I want to say like yeah, but, but max of a fiver. It was at boot. Yeah, that was at boot sale. Thank so, you. So Ariat, um, only a few things left, and then we promise we'll leave you alone, and you will never have to see us ever again until the next time we're on here. Rag and bone. I love rag and bone. They are a demo, uh, a denim brand predominantly but they are really expensive yeah um and they're based in new york um they've won so many fashion awards now but this is just a, like a what do, what do people call this because i call it mottled um mall no you're mall is it mall it is mall there's another word as well oh god it starts with the h anyway i know what you mean it's horsey girls like my knees are getting there Oh, well, it's the bottom bits of Christmas. See, yeah, see. Yeah. I, th I think it's what people are into, like if they're like different like niches. Yeah, of course. Equestrian is a niche, right? Yeah. And the funny thing is, when you say equestrian, I, I think of like British equestrianism, as opposed like you said equestrian. I was like they're American though. Like they have got they have their horse and they have that whole thing there. But what I'm saying is a very American brand. Like even the boots. Look at look at look at British equestrian boots. They don't look like they have cowboy boots. No. Do you see what I'm saying? No, it's, it's a universal that though. It's more technical that one. Well, ye to that then. Okay. How about that? This is just an oversized mall. Like, um, what is this? What would you call it? Top. It's a top. It's a see, top. See, Aria is selling like hot cakes. There you go. Um, and it's just great. And to be honest, I like to price them at about fifty pounds. This is the jean line, so it's like. The diffusion, if you will. Um, so and it's a small, it's a small petite bit. Once again, it is absolutely yes, ginormous. Yeah, that's that's. So that. I will price it at fifty. I'll put it on vestiaire. I'll put it on um. Everywhere. I feel like everything is oversized. Everything I picked up is oversized. It is though, isn't it? Like. I know I, I always put it against myself. I don't know why I do that, but I do just to see like to see the difference in camera. But that's big. Yeah, well, you're you wear XL. Um, and the last two pieces, I'll show you at the same time. I've got some, like, bonus feature stuff, if anyone wants to see it, but... No one. Oh, my nose is so itchy today. Vince. Sorry if I'm sniffing, everybody. Vince is really expensive. It's so expensive. Um, and it's so underrated because it's American. And it's an American brand, so we price it low, blah, 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 blah. I've got a grey top here. It's black. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a colour. And it is a size small. And then, obviously, from the same human... We have a green. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'm not shrinking. No one's shrinking around here. There's no lifestyle choices around here, of course, in Aubrey. Yeah. Huh? I beg your pardon. <laughs> anyway, so we have two. I won't sell them together because bundles are the bane of my life. However, um, I will sell them each for thirty pounds. Those they, are more, these retail are like sixty to eighty. That's ridiculous. Like, these are like like they, I know they're supposed to be, but they're like, like wafer thin as well. Yeah. But it's it's just kind of like I guess a base layer. I yeah, want to like say a, or like, like know, a capsule collection thing. Just Vince. Just Vince. It still amazes me, and like like when we live in kind of a world where everything's kind of overproduced, and I don't mean like as in like there's thousands made. I mean like everything's like very thick and very heavy, and like these are so thin, and not like silk thin, but like they're obviously cotton, but um. I do think that it's amazing there's still like that much value in something like that, but yeah. Cool. Next. Um, that is it. And I just want to show you these as a bonus feature. No one wants to see these. This is my um No one. I bought some egg cups. If anyone's interested, I like to buy one ceramic item a week. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants to buy them, they're welcome. They're so cute. They're all Akili or Kylie. Everyone says Kylie and I say all Akili and everyone makes fun of me. Here we go. See them? 2017, they're, they're bunnies. That's all I've got to say, really. They only sell for about £25. They're chunky, they're bunnies, and with the flower. Bunnies. What more do you want? I've just realised we've been on for like, what is that? Yeah. 54 minutes, people. I apologise. Apologise in advance. We ha obviously we're kind of like keeping an eye up here because once again, as you saw, but if you saw the beginning, it was a total, um, as Bethany said, S H I T show. Um, does anyone? Oh, there you go. 
Does anyone have anything to say or questions or anything they want to ask or not really? It's or just question time, Austin. I just said it was, so deal with that. How about that? How about them no, apples? It's sis? okay. We'll do another question time. I'm really quite hot at this time. Are you actually? Yeah, I'm not. Really... Are you like gonna like keel over or something? Yeah. Um so what we're gonna do, I think what we're gonna do is gonna go crazy. We're gonna do one on one on Insta, one on YouTube and rotate. Okay, cool. Like, Give everyone you mean, a chance. You mean okay, fair enough. Back with the os Oh, please don't. Is is Oscar? We learn. Is we've we've had official say from Oscar, and it is Oscar, not Oscar. It's Oscar, Oscar. We can't pronounce anything. I blame being from Somerset, and that's what I have to say on that. And he's Welsh. I'm Welsh, and that's I blame myself for that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Love you long time. Um, you can like this video, that's perfectly okay, and we'll leave it up so you can re-watch it. I know you're going to re-watch it, like, in the bath, no in the bed. No one wants to re-watch this. I, um, I, no. Family time on a Sunday night, um, whatever you do. If you don't want to watch us, you can listen to us over on the Heart Cell. Our podcast available on most popular streaming sites. iTunes, Spotify, wherever you find a high-quality podcast. Or our daily ramblings over on Instagram. Anyway, or you can just that like too. backlog watch us. Anyway, I hope it's been okay. If it hasn't, then I... everyone has to start somewhere, folks. Yep, we start and we will improve. Maybe we'll get the like orientation of the, that would the be a start. camera right next time. It might, it might not collapse totally as well. That would be, I think that would be also a vibe. Who knows? I don't know actually know how to stop this. So we're going to take a minute to work out how to turn the camera off. So if I hold, you press buttons. How about that? I'm going to press the X. You, you press the 